how did the idea um, come about for having RuPaul contestants on campus? Actually, I would credit that to uh, the Penhonic Sorority Council. Um, they are the ones that kind of saw this for the first time out at uh, one of the conferences last year, I think. Um, they saw it and figured it would be a great opportunity for them to partner up with the Pride Center and also have the Greek community partner up with the Pride Center. So, um, and we agreed. Um, so there are multiple parties on board, including the Multicultural Center. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of where it came from. Um, so what, what made you want to do kind of like a Q&A rather than just like a drag show? Um, well, I, I suppose there's two parts to that. Um, number one is that's kind of the normal format of the show. Um, this is a program that travels around to different colleges on you know, different campuses. But um, the second part, I think the value of having a Q&A um, versus just a normal drag show that you might see in a club or something like that is um, you actually get to spend time with them. You get to interact. Um, it's much more personal. Mm. Um. So, what was like? What did you really enjoy about the show? I like the fact that, I mean, their performance of Well Wall was absolutely amazing. Um, the choreography, but the chance that you got to talk one on one, they weren't talking down to you. You didn't feel that they were above you. It was just they were relating to everybody and to the LGBT, LGBT community as a whole. What I really liked about this event is that not only was it a performance uh, with an amazing, uh, an amazing drag performance of high caliber, but it also showed this other side. It humanized the drag queens into people who were fighting for the community and trying to enact a change by opening up parts of their lives and by answering questions of all types. Yeah. How excited were you when you found out like from the Unique that you were going to have RuPaul's Drag Race contestants? I was so excited, like words can't even explain how excited I was because I've watched RuPaul's Drag Race like every season, especially like Raja, I watched her season and I watched Angela and I just like love the show and what it represents I was really excited and I just, I kind of could breathe, I was a little speechless for a second, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. um, so what was the, your favorite part of the show tonight? Shangela stole the show. I mean, I didn't know what she was even going to come with. I mean, when we did a sound check, she just came out, you know, just checking, like, one, two, three, my check, one, two. And then she comes out on stage, and she does Beyonce's whole Super Bowl performance. So that, I was like, whoa. I mean, like, hair, makeup, outfit, music, everything was perfect. It was the closest I'm probably going to get to Beyonce because her um, world tour sold out. So... <laughs> So that was like, I was like, yes, it was perfect. What do you think? What do you think it meant to have the two of them on like Sac State campus? What do you think it meant for LGBT students? Um, having such big figureheads come out, uh, even thank you. <laughs> um, after this, um, the Sacramento State students. Uh, it's very important because having big figureheads gives them confidence to come out. Like the 19-year-old that was in the audience and is starting to do drag. Myself just walking across campus in this outfit, not getting beat up, and just having someone to go to and to talk to and just knowing that they're out there.